scatter diagram you can think of this is a diagram which helps us in identifying the correlationship between two variables you might want to analyze that what might be generating defects so a defect generation could be a effect you are observing and you may want to look at various variables like is the workers working overtime somehow correlates with defects or you may want to see that is that uh, the weather correlates with with the number of defects getting getting raised so there could be various factors you may want to analyze to see how they impact to a defect now to understand this further let's take a simple example you might be selling say a uh, cold drink and you as a company may want to understand how various things which you do to sell cold drinks affect the cold drink sales so cold drink sale is a one variable you are you are analyzing and you pick up the another variables and see is there any correlationships among them let's look at some graphs and possible things so at uh, this particular axis may be showing the sale of of your uh, cola and uh, so the the more the top it goes it it increases and this direction may show uh, another variable so this is the variable you want to observe and this variable is an independent variable which is more like a money spent in advertisement money spent on ad now you may see that if there is a relationship you can see that as you are increasing the money spent maybe the cola sale is 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 also increasing so if you see a trend like this then it shows this is like money spent this much what was the cola sale money spent this much what was the cola sale so if you see this this kind of a, a, a increasing relationships or a line emerging then you can say that both these things are correlated and since it is going up you can think of it is correlated in a positive direction so means as things are, as you are spending more money the the cola sales is is increasing you may want to another check with the another uh, factor you may see that okay is there any change in temperature impacts the cola sale so you may have different different temperature so here you can see a rise in temperature of environment and here you have a cola sale then you can say that okay it is different upon something like this so there is a correlation but correlation that the, the factor is not as linear as money spent on advertisement so you can also see that is there a correlation ship and how how uh, how the given variable influence the other variable you may also come up with a theory that looks like that our sale is also getting impacted by the competitors ad that's that's a theory you have in mind now you get somehow the figure of competitors ad spending and you plot this and you see that ad spending of competitor is increasing here uh, uh, and your cola sale is here and you see something like uh, this kind of graph so there is no linearity coming in which shows that these two things are not related means irrespective of these guys are increasing their spending or decreasing their spending you can't see the trend of your cola sale coming coming with the ad spending so these kind of effects these kind of of analysis uh, you can do by using scattered uh, diagram in quality related work this helps us in identifying influence of one variable on another variable and you can also find which one, one is the most like a uh, critical variable you need to control because there could be some of the levers some of 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 variables which can affect your quality significantly so understanding the impact on one variable on another variable we can use scattered diagram